Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today we're going to talk about a new Lightroom feature called Remix. Now first of all, if things look a little different today, that is because I'm working and doing this video on my MacBook. Usually I do my videos on my iMac, but I'm getting my house remodeled and the iMac is in storage and I didn't feel like going down to my studio on Saturday to do the video, so I'm working on my MacBook. Now, Lightroom Remix is a feature of what is called Lightroom, and I'm as guilty as many people misnaming these different Lightroom applications. There is, of course, Lightroom Classic, and that is the application that I do most of my videos on. There also are other versions of Lightroom as well. There is this version, the version you're looking at on my computer right now, called Lightroom. Now, within Adobe, they call this Lightroom Desktop, but you'd be hard-pressed to find that on their west, uh, website. I often call it Lightroom Desktop as well. Technically, it's just Lightroom. It's the cloud version of Lightroom. There's other versions of Lightroom as well. There's mobile versions, and there is a web version. Now, this Lightroom Remix feature that we're going to be demoing today is in this Lightroom Cloud version or desktop version. I'm not sure if it's going to be available in the other versions of Lightroom in the future, but it is a really cool feature, and I think it warrants me doing a video on it. Now, what this Remix feature is, it's kind of multifaceted. You could go look at other people's edits of their own images, see how they go about editing them, and then you could edit their image yourself. Also, you could do an edit like I did on this image, and I could make it available on Remix, and I could see how other people go about editing my image. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. We're in Lightroom, the cloud version of Lightroom, or Lightroom Desktop if you prefer, and I already edited this image, and I'll just show you. I'll go over to the Edit tab, open up Light, and you can see I did some edits to it. Once you've edited the image, to get to Lightroom Remix, or just if you want to view other people's images and maybe edit their images as well, go to the Discover tab over here on the left-hand side, then go to Remixes. And when you'll, you do, you could see the, there's a featured one here, and if you uh, look at it, you could see there's this person's edit, and if I hover over it, there is the unedited file. And you could then remix it. You could edit it yourself as well. Below that, you could see there's a number of them, and they're showing some with before, after, side by side, and then others where you'll have to like hover over the image to see a before and an after. And you could come in, and you could try your hand at editing these images. You also could just see how that photographer went about editing it, and how other photographers went about editing it. So I think it's a really keen learning tool. Now, I want to share my own edit, and what I'll do is I'll show you how to share your edits, and I'm going to make mine available, and I'll give you a link to it in the description below this video, and you could take um, time to try to edit it yourself. Now, to do it, go right up here at the top right-hand corner, share your edit, and when you do that, it's going to, because I've never done it before, it's going to tell me to go to Recent Edits. So, I'll click over here, and this is the image I want to share, and it's got this information down here. Select an edited photo you would like to share to discover, and this is this image here of this park bench. We'll click Continue. Now it's prompting me to open up the Share menu, right, and then I'm going to Share to Discover down here to the community, so we'll click there. Now I have to give it a name. I'll just call it Lonely Park Bench and describe process. That's pretty much a straight forward Lightroom edit. Nothing fancy. That's what I did. Okay, now below here we have to put some categories. Um, this is, I guess, a landscape. You could call it uh, another secondary category. Maybe it's nature. And a third category, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not really a still life. 
Oh. There's nothing really that I could see that would be a, a third category of this. Um, now, you have the option in or uh, to allow people to download a preset of your edit, and I'll do that. So if you'd like just the preset of what I did here, you could do that. I'll leave that enabled. Include location info. Um, I didn't have, I didn't use a camera that had GPS, so there is no location info on this image anyway. But you do have the option of um, allowing people to see where the image was taken. Whether or not you want to do that is questionable. <laughs> Below that is remixing, and this is what we're doing our video on. Allow other people to be able to edit this image, and I'm going to turn that on. Just like that. And then I'm ready to share. I'll go up to the top and I'll click on share. And it's submitting my edit. And once uh, the uh, edit is uploaded, um, it is now available for people to edit it. And it says my edit is live and ready to share. And here's the link right here. I'm going to uh, copy that link. It will let me. I think I could copy it to clipboard right here. There, I copied it. And again, in the description below this video, I'll have that link, this link right here. And take your hand and uh, at editing it and see how you do on it. I'd like to see different interpretations of this um, image that I took. Um, because like you, I am always continually, continually learning. And I want to learn how other people would approach a situation that may be dramatically different than the way I would have done it. Maybe you'll give me ideas on what I could do in the future. And I hope Lightroom's Remix feature does the same for you. So that's it for this uh, video. I'm sorry um, you're looking at it on a smaller resolution. Typically, I upload everything in either uh, 2K or 4K. This is going to be 1920 by 1080 and it's going to be um, kind of framed because the resolution of a MacBook isn't um, a 16 by 9 ratio. So uh, hopefully they finish my house very soon. I could fix, set up my iMac and be able to do my videos the way I've done them for numerous years. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.